Hey everyone, this is Mo Black here on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina uh, <coughs> of Time. Sorry about that. A little cough from lasagna, because I ate lasagna for dinner. Anyways, yeah, uh, in the last video, we uh, finished up exploring uh, the Great Deku Tree and uh, watched him die and learned where we have to go next, which is Hyrule Castle, which means we have to leave Kokiri Village. Of course, whatever it's called. Oh, you're leaving. Sorry for the cover, I think, guys. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Skull. I believe it says that, like, uh, Kokiri people could not leave the forest or they die or something. Because you are different from me and my friends. Well, that's okay. Because we'll be friends forever, won't we? Aww. Kinda sad to see Sarya. I want you to have this ocarina. Please take care, good care of it. So, now you guys actually know what an ocarina is. Um, I guess I can explain really quick. An ocarina is basically, it's, it's a wind instrument. Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. You receive the fairy ocarina. This is a memento from Sarya. Uh, sadly, we really can't, this has no use for us at all right now. Maybe not until the next video at least. I mean, it's really, it has no real use for us. So, yeah. Don't bother really learning anything right now. Or, uh, setting it to, like, the C directionals. We play my Ocarina, I hope you will think of me. Uh, yeah, I won't. Because you just gave me something uh, at a really bad time. Get away from me! Ah. Okay, well, yeah, kind of sad. And we are finally leaving Kokiri Forest. Don't worry, we'll come back. We definitely will be coming back. And now, we have reached Hyrule Field. Yes. Uh, this is the pretty much, this takes up at least probably easily 50% of the overworld. I mean, this is kind of like the main hub of the world, I guess. It's pretty barren, though. I mean, it's really giant, but there's nothing going on here most of the time. Oh, this guy! Hoot hoot! Skulk, look up here! Uh, basically, this guy, a lot of people hate him. They find him to be very annoying. Um, and I know his name because I'm such a nerd. His name is Kaipora Gaibora. Although, I like to pronounce it as Kaipora Gaibora, because it's it, it's A-E, not A-Y, so I look at it as a... So I pronounce it as uh, as a letter Ash or I. Uh, but yeah, he's the owl that kind of helps us out. Except, uh, you know, he doesn't appear as much as Nobby, and I like him. He's cool to me at least. Although I don't really like the shadow right now. <laughs> Did you get all that? No. Yes. I love how they just kind of really want to fuck you up on that one. But yeah, uh, he's he's a cool character. I like him. Some people like Navi, I understand. So anyways, yeah, if we follow this path, we'll take us straight to Hyrule Castle. Um, now, one thing we're going to notice about this game now is that um, time is going to pass, so we're going to actually have sunrise and sunset. Oh, hold on, let's see if I can do this. Does this still work? Yeah, still does. Oh, whoa. Hello. Uh, but anyways, yeah, there's the castle over there. Um, let's see if we can make it there before sunsets, because uh, when the sun sets, the drawbridge goes up. Oh shit, oh shit, it's gonna set. Um, when it's dark outside, you can't go into Hyrule Castle. So, sadly, yeah. You're stuck up, you're stuck out here until sun rises again. Come on, come on, come on. I don't wanna get stuck out here because there's skeletons and I don't really wanna fight them. Well, make it, make it, make it! Oh god! Yes! Barely made it! Although, it's gonna be now, uh, for as long as we're here in Hyrule Castle, it's gonna be night. Because that's how the game works. Okay, now you wanna go inside this room when you first arrive. And, uh, be careful when running into these dogs. Because if you run into the, if you get too close to them, they'll start following you around. And it's really annoying. Uh, that will actually re be required for a mission later on. But, um, not for right now. I really do not like these dogs. Uh, in this room, you can basically break all this stuff and get some rubies and stuff. I think it'd be good to get some penance for, you know, stuff because you got ripped off from that shop in the Kokiri village. Uh, 
Alright, uh, I guess I don't this. Yeah, like I said, I don't understand why a lot of people don't like, uh... Kaibora Gaibora. Kaipora Gaibora. He, he means he's awesome. Actually, but a little thing is that when I was a little kid, I used to call him Mr. Hoot Hoot. Um, because I liked him so much. I think he was my fav one of my favorite characters of the Zelda series. Um, uh, you know, Miss yeah, that's, that was just me. Uh, but anyways, if we roll into these crates right here, uh, there is a gold Skulltula! And if, so there's the fourth one we've encountered. I believe that's the only one here in the Hyrule Market District. So yeah, that's about it. For, uh, that's all the gold Skulltulas in this area. Yay! Not all of them in the Hyrule Castle wall forest area, but that's the only one in the market. So yeah, we finally cleared out an area. God, dog, why do you keep following me around? Leave me alone. And here's the market. There's a lot of dogs right around. I guess, well, I guess it's just pissing me off that people make up that Mr. Uh, Kaipora uh, to be a lot more annoying than he actually is. Your clothes, they're different. You're not from around here, are you? No! Uh, this girl's basically gonna say that her... A fairy boy. That seems kind of insulting. Her, her name is Milan. Her dad went to the castle to deliver some milk. And he hasn't come back in. She's worried. Yeah, anyways, you know, he was cool. He's better than a lot of the other owl cartoon characters, you know. I mean... Hey, at least he doesn't lie about how many licks it takes to get a center of a Tootsie Pop. Three licks. Bullshit. There's, there's a young couple though. We'll ask him the next time we see him how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Because he really doesn't have any uh, real information to give us, but I just like him anyways. Okay, now, where we're supposed to go is right through here, and as you can see, there's a castle in the distance. Yeah, this is the way to Hyrule Castle. Yay. And what do you know? If we keep going this way, look who it is! Although you probably can't see it because I can't really see it at all, but it's Mr. Kaipora Gaibora. So, is, so Kaipora Gaibora, how many looks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? And he's not gonna really tell us. Who cares? For 9,000! No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, that is a Dragon Ball joke that does not belong in my Let's Play. Hoot, 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 hoot. Uh, he said hoot hoot. Yeah, he looks more like a knock towel. Lol! I'm stupid like that. But anyways, yeah, um, I think we're gonna stop the video here, guys, because we, we did some pretty good stuff, but I want the other video to have more important stuff. But anyways, if we roll in- if we roll into this tree right here, a gold sculpture drops down. So there's another gold sculpture for you guys. And then I think that just about does it. So next time on Ocarina of Time, we're going to venture up to Hyrule Castle and talk to the princess that Kaipora Gaibora was telling us about. I will see you guys next time when we do just that. It's dark outside, jeez.